previously on Warrior Within. The Prince has defeated the Empress and hasn't managed to change his fate. Now his jealous goat boyfriend is trying to murder him. How will our Prince get out of this one? Quite simple really, find a random magic wool with massive inscribings telling him how to make everything right again. This run of the mill magic wool tells the tale of one of the Maharaja's soldiers, who is in a similar situation, and decided to get out a ladder and etch his story in a huge script. It speaks of the Mask of the Wraith, the most confusing plot device I have ever encountered in a game. Whenever someone needs to rewrite the course of history, all you need is one of these. The mask that we know little about just so happens to be opportunely placed at the north end of the island, ready for its next user. What exactly does the mask do? Well, I'm not exactly sure, but the gist of it is that it'll allow you to travel back through time to coexist with your other self. That makes sense, right? Don't ask me how you can't coexist with yourself in another time. The encounter could create a time paradox, the results of which could cause a chain reaction that would unravel the very fabric of the space-time continuum and destroy the entire universe! This mural shows the impossible. Then the prince comes up with a fairly rational solution to all of his problems. What if Kylina didn't die in the past, but in the present? The sands would be created, but the Maharaja would fail to find them. They'd never be brought to his palace, and I would never release them. The Dahaka will have no business with me. My goal is clear, then. Use the mask to force Kylina into the present where I can kill her. It's simple. Or sounds simple. This is what, for the life of me, I can't seem to understand. So bear with me for a second. This timeline works in such a manner that everything works together without too many enigmas. The prince invades the kingdom, grabs the dagger, and unleashes the sands of time. Then he performs a rewind to the point where everything is in an orderly manner, and the vizier dies. As a result, the Dahaka is unleashed, and causes him to come to the island. Here's the part where things become convoluted. If he forces Kalina into the present, he will drastically alter the course of history, such that he will never venture to Azad, or cause the Dahaka to start hunting him. So what's his past self doing then? Wouldn't he effectively screw around with time such that he creates an alternate universe? You are an idiot. Only a fresh-faced novice would come up with a conclusion like that. Although when he returns home to Babylon, the vizier instantly recognizes him and knows precisely what he's been up to. Even the old man is conscious of his quest. The vizier? Ah. You must be the Prince of Persia. Come home at last. Okay, maybe I'm being irrational. Even if the Prince didn't unleash the sands and invade the kingdom and then kill the vizier, there is a remote chance all that's happened is that he created an alternate reality. When the time continuum has been disrupted, creating this new temporal event sequence resulting in this alternate reality. English, doc. When I wanted to understand more about the Sansa Time universe, this was the only explanation available. Most people think time is like a river that flows swift and sure in one direction. But I have seen the face of time, and I can tell you, they are wrong. Time is an ocean in a storm. Alright, that makes absolutely no sense. You can't make up your own rules for time manipulation. Anyway, after donning the mask, the prince uses a time portal and travels back precisely to the moment where his other self is on the high seas. Why this point in time? Does the mask have a mind of its own? The plan is to kill the other copy of him, even though previously the wraith died which seemed more like fate to me than anything. However, before that happens, you witness the events between Shadi and Kalina in the past. Its ship approaches. It is just as the timeline foretold. Wait, how come Shadi is the one with the knowledge of the future now? The crew is assembled and the ship is ready. Then go now. I have activated the island's portals. You will travel to his time, engage him at sea, and kill him. Kill them all! As you wish. I do not appreciate your- What tone? She wasn't being facetious. 
How long have these two been together anyway? Kalina threatens Shadi with death if she doesn't accomplish her task. We'll find death at my hands. Now go! So, what does Shadi do? She runs right back to her. What? What are the point? What was Kalina doing in this room? How did Shadi know she would be in there? If that's not enough, I'd like them to explain the time gap. The race spends 10 minutes in the past to get to this point, yet in 10 minutes, Shadi has managed to put all of those cow soldiers through a portal and then return to the past to reach the Empress. There's like an hour time gap here, assuming time spent between the past and the present isn't always constant. I mean, the Princess Scar even manages to heal. Oh, I can't be. Just send you back to the future. Yeah. Then when the Wraith travels around the castle, encountering the Prince at various points to save his life, a Thrall shows up and knocks him out to fill out the time gap between when the Prince activates the towers. Why didn't they just do that before? It would have made a lot more sense. Am I too late? I have come too far to fail! The exact same sequence with the Dahaka claiming the Prince occurs and swallows him this time instead of the Wraith. I don't know exactly if that's possible. It should literally be the same event. It doesn't matter. This little plot device is the logical conclusion to everything. But upon taking the mask off, shouldn't he just disappear? His past self is dead. That means he could have never claimed the mask. And shouldn't the Dahaka technically stop chasing him now since he did actually die? This time, the prince is ready for Kalina, or so he thinks. Come with me, into the present. So you can kill me in your own time instead of mine? <laughs> wow, when did she grow a brain? The prince's whole plan it was instantly exposed and shot down. He's screwed! It's his fate to kill the empress and repeat this endless cycle. Empress, listen! No! You listen! The timeline has said you will kill me, but I will change the timeline! Again, amazing voice acting. Then in perhaps the worst sequence of the game, he enacts his ingenious idea with the weirdest series of animations I have ever seen. I'm not finished with the story, actually. I have more to say about it later. But... Hopefully now you can understand how confusing it gets. Although I admit, it is an interesting plot twist. Snake, what have you done? You changed the future. You've created a time paradox. 